Welcome to San Marcos, the hippiest place in all of Lake Athlon. Yeah, this place has all of your yoga uh, and vegan diet needs if you need them. Uh, as you can see, we're back at the boat docks because this is where you'll get dropped off. Yep. Let's go check out San Marcos. When you get dumped off the boats, <laughs> <laughs> you are going to come straight on to Hippie Highway. Yep. You can't miss it. There's literally nowhere else to go. This is the tourist hot spot of all of the really good shopping, all the vegan restaurants. Most of the action in the town is right here. Yeah. We got these dope bags while we were here. Um, certainly, definitely talk them down a bit, you know, as much as you can. Yeah, it's priced for tourists, so you gotta haggle. <laughs> yeah, but this place has everything. All your food stops, all the, all your textiles and shopping. Like, this is definitely a place to spend a little bit of time. Yeah, you can actually spend quite a bit of time here. There's even more uh, fun shopping. Like, you can get plant medicines, you can buy rape here. You can also get ceremonial cacao. You could really just spend a full day browsing around Hippie Highway if you wanted to. Well, depending on how much time you have, uh, there's a lot always going on in San Marcos, so you gotta check out the bulletin board in Hippie Highway to see if there's any cacao ceremonies, plant medicines, ceremonies, festivals, yoga retreats, whatever it is, uh, they post it all up here. Be sure to stop by this little bakery in San Marcos for either a pastry or these loaves of bread are amazing, so don't skip out. This is probably the best bread that we found in Guatemala, honestly. <clears throat> All right, honey, what you getting? Let's go get some pastries. Yeah, I'm gonna get a chocolate croissant. You know what you Give us the taste test. Oh, that is big. <laughs> That's massive. Yeah, that's true. But that's good. To get to Eagle's Nest, you have to come up this really steep hill. It's probably better to get a tuk-tuk, but you can walk it as well from town. Not a problem. But just be ready to get a little winded and a little sweaty. But let's go. Yeah, this is just the beginning of the hike. Yeah. <laughs> there are two ways to get to Eagle's Nest. You can take this little shortcut, shortcut, um, when you see this white gate, you know to take this little alleyway, or you can go all the way up top and take the path through, I would call it like the mountainside. But anyway, we're gonna take the shortcut and go this way. Come on. Okay, so first time we were in San Marcos, we ran into this guy that's lived here for a couple years, and he told us about Eagle's Nest and Community Day. Yeah, so Community Day is a is on Fridays and that's when you can go and hang out at Eagle's Nest and enjoy like all of their amenities that they open up for the community. Yeah, for freezy. <laughs> and that includes yeah. like their tame mezcal. Well, it's really just a sauna. They also have aerial yoga you can mess around with. There's food. It has the best view um, where you're like in this raised platform. You can overlook the whole lake. It's really nice. Yeah, it is stunning. The view is stunning. The food Mm, not so much. <laughs> but that's Guatemala. <laughs> that is Guatemala for sure. Uh, if you are not here on a Friday though, you can still, I think, take yoga classes and there's other stuff going on there. It's definitely worth checking out. It's a cool spot. Welcome to one of the cooler locations that we stopped at on Lake Adelon, the Fungi Academy. This place is awesome. You get to learn all things mushrooms while you're here. And you get a lot of hands-on experience as well. So you get to like stuff bags with corn cobs and then put mycelium in there and watch and hopefully over time watch it grow. So certainly a really cool location to stop at if you want to learn something about mushrooms. On Thursdays is when they host classes here, which are only like a couple hundred quetzales per person. So certainly worth coming and stopping by to learn, you know, who doesn't like a little bit of education while you're on, on a little travel. All right, last stop is Gaia. On Sundays, they have ecstatic dance and cacao. <laughs> yeah, so this is our first time coming to Gaia. So we're gonna go try to experience it. Cell phones are not encouraged. Yeah. But uh, we'll, for, we'll snap a few. For freedom of expression. But yeah. this is about 15 minutes outside of San Marcos, so you're gonna need a tuk-tuk ride. It's actually the town next to it. Yeah, it's called Sunana. Yeah, and the Fungi Academy is right next door. So you can do both. Um, 
Well, well they're have, on different days. You'd have to come on different days. But it's another option to explore. We're going to go check it out. And I think we'll let you know. Yeah. I think that's a wrap on San Marcos, though. Thanks for coming along. Hopefully, you guys get a chance to come explore this uh, magical little town full of hippies. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely worth coming and checking out. There's a lot to do here. This definitely has a lot more activities and things for interactive activities for people to do. Yeah, that's if, for sure. If you're into any sort of like healing woo woo stuff at all, this is a really cool spot. But if you want a little bit more culture and more of kind of the history behind Lake Atlan, definitely check out either San Juan, San Pedro or Santiago. Yeah, Santiago is the one. Yep. All right. We'll see you later. Peace out.